So today we're going to be looking at a sovereign citizen that got pulled over by a police officer. Mind you, a very nice police officer. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, Mr. Meadows, so here's your license back. Thank you. So, I mean, I know you say you don't believe in paying for that stuff, but it's required to operate in this the vehicle in Pennsylvania with current up-to-date registration and inspection. So says who? Says who? Yeah. Says the legislators. What legislator? What law? Well, Title 75, Section 4703, Subsection A, is operation of vehicle without official certificate of inspection. I have a feeling that this sovereign citizen wasn't ready for officer subsection. And 1301A would be operation of the vehicle with expired registration. Okay. And 1786F, operation without required financial responsibility, meaning vehicle insurance. I have money. That's what I, all I need. What's that? I have cash. That's all I need. Has anyone been hurt? Not at this time. Okay. So if, if no somebody... one's been hurt, there's no no what if someone. That's like saying, oh, you all, you can't have a gun because what if you might shoot someone? That We don't go by what if. Well, if you do get involved in an accident. If I get involved with the accident, I'll deal with that in a lawsuit whenever I get sued for it. Okay. Well, basically what I could do is tow your vehicle. If I get out of it and leave it for you. Do you want your vehicle to get towed? Because that's how you get your vehicle to get towed. I'm saying I can lawfully keep you here and, and take your vehicle. You don't have to stop me from driving. Are you willing to kill me over it? I don't want to kill you at all. Okay, so if you don't want to kill me, are you going to re really escalate to that for no reason other than I don't have a couple pieces of paper? Well, here's the deal. is You're the one that's been having an attitude with me the whole time. I, don't, I have an attitude because the government is overreaching for no reason. There's no criminal offense here. There's no one. There's no victim. There's no crime committed. I'm driving back to work literally not even a mile from my job and I'm getting pulled over because I don't have a couple pieces of paper and I have to deal with this. Like, it's literally a waste of my time. It's a waste of your time. There's actually real criminals out there that you could be capturing. Real criminals. What justifies a person being a real criminal? Breaking the law, right? Congratulations. You're a real criminal. Give them a round of applause, everyone. Give them a round of applause. People that are endangering people by actually driving reckless and everything. You want to know how most of the criminals that I've caught, how I got involved with them? How? Traffic stops. Oh, yeah, of course. Yep. Extorting people. Finding ways to get money out of people for no reason other than, oh, some government official says it's okay for me to charge you. I'm not saying that the offenses that, uh, that are traffic related necessarily escalate to a criminal level. I'm saying that... I pull people over for expired inspections. Oh yeah, of course. Like I said, when you're looking to extort people, you find other things on them. So it's easy whenever you can extort people. It's real easy to extort people whenever you have carte blanche to just do whatever you want. Like, oh, I'm just gonna stop you because you don't have the right labels on your car. So, you know, I'm just gonna come take the money from you because I would rather go after someone that seems non-violent and possibly get someone that's violent than actually go after someone violent because I'm a fucking coward. Did he just say police are cowards because they pull over people? You know how many police officers die because of traffic stops a year? I don't think he knows anything about policing. Okay. Well, Mr. Meadows, I would just say you have a very misguided view, but... You no, I don't. I, have a, I understand what freedom is, and I understand what extortion is. If I was to pull someone over and say, Hey, you know, do you have the right paperwork? They'd look at me and say, Oh, well, you're not a cop. Why are you asking me for this paperwork? But because someone else told you that you can pull other people over, you think you're perfectly fine and capable of doing that, and it's a power trip. No victim, no crime. But you want to yeah, you yeah, create a crime? You're entitled to your opinion. I mean, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Yeah, you know, tell you you can't have an opinion. That's that's all you. Are we in a free country or not? Absolutely. If we're in a free country, then why am I getting pulled over for doing nothing that doesn't harm anyone? Because you violated the. Oh, so once again, once again, is it a free country or not? Are we free to do what we want that's not not harmful to people? Well, I guess I can shoot up other people's livestock. I mean, it's not hurting people. I mean, I guess long term it does, but right now they they'll be fine. They can just sue me. I'll deal with it in court. There or are, are we, oh, so then it's tyrannical. So as long as the government says it's okay, it's okay for you to do it then. There's no, there's no morality in that, right? You just do whatever the hell the government tells you to do. You just 
kiss their ass no matter what. If they say slavery's okay, slavery's okay. If they say rape's okay, rape's okay. But you know, guess what? If they say extortion and theft is okay. That's perfectly fine with you. You can steal my property that I pay for that you don't pay for without my consent. I can pay taxes on all the groceries here, but all of a sudden, you know, I pay for the roads with my taxes and my, my contribution, but I can't drive on those same roads because I don't have the right pieces of paper that government suddenly passed that I needed to have all of a sudden. You, you know when we, on groceries in PA. huh? So you don't get taxed on groceries in PA. You get taxed on certain things in PA. But not groceries. You get taxed on gasoline. The, uh, gasoline. And gasoline and road and gasoline taxes goes towards the road, don't they? The gasoline, yeah. Yeah. I'm saying I, I, I just made so I, one I, example of the groceries. Yeah, right? yeah, groceries. You know but, what I mean? I'm just saying general taxation. But what I'm getting at ultimately here is I'm not going to let your attitude affect what I was already going to do. And that was let you continue to work. You I'm just to, sorry. Get, I'm just in a bad to, mood because you need to get the stuff taken care of. You, you have to have that stuff in here because guys, that is the end of the video. That cop was so nice to this. Ooh. Um. Anyways, so I hope you guys had a very good day. Um. I'll see you next time. I don't even know anymore.